and we are going to do a staggered stance deadlift. So what that means, target leg is going to be slightly behind the other leg. The reason we do this is to begin starting to get that internal rotation of this hip. But I want you to commit to this stance leg. This is only for a little bit of balance, so not much weight through there. Okay, and we are gonna do a deadlift, which means it is not an ankle and knee hinge. This is hip driven. So the hip pulls back. Now, what I'd like you to do is not just pull the hip back, I also want you to try to pull it to the side. So I wanna sit that hip back into this tissue we just worked on, back into the socket, nestle it deep in there. So if you were looking at me from the side, I'm coming in, but slightly to the side. I have a really nice tall spine from pelvis to the top of the head, good. And then when I come up, I'm driving through that target leg and right back up. Now, if you were going to use a weight, it would go in the opposite hand. Starting tall, knee is a little bit soft, Core is on. I'm gonna get you to take your hand, put it on your bum. I want sensory input into here and I want maximum length through this tissue. So you are going to hinge at the hip, pulling that hip back and to the side. And then when you come up, drive through the foot, come on back up. Let's try 10. Again, almost all of the weight is on that target leg. The other one is just there really for balance and to bias that pelvis position again a little bit so that we're in that AFIR and getting length at the back here. Keep your shoulders strong so I don't want you rounded. Stay proud, open, driving through. So this is very much just a hip motion. 